Hello Helpful Programmer here. Over the next couple of videos I'm going to be teaching you game programming with C++ and Dart GDK. To start game programming with Dart GDK you need to know some fundamental C++. If you haven't already then I advise you go to Andy RTFM's videos as they are very easy to understand and teach you a lot. If you know C++ already or you have watched his videos then we need to install three things. First off, you need to install Visual C++ 2008 Express Edition as we're going to use this as our compiler. And then once you've installed that, you need to install DirectX Software Development Kit. And then last but not least, you need to install DarkGDK. All the links to these websites will be in the description bar. Now that we've installed all three things, let's go to Visual C++ and create a new project. So file, new, project, and as you'll see a new thing's popped up, wizards. This will contain all the templates for Dark GDK. I'm going to start off teaching you about 2D games as if we go straight to 3D then you might get a bit confused as there's an extra dimension. So click on Dark GDK 2D game and let's call it starting off and press OK. Once it's loaded you'll see that there like any project is a main.cpp file. Click on that to open it up. Once it's opened there's going to be a template that someone's made for a 2D game. Go ahead and delete that as we're going to start from scratch. Let's go and include Dark GDK. So include open speech marks, dark capital letters GDK dot H and close speech marks. We're going to be including Dark GDK instead of iostream. Next, we're going to make the main function. Instead of int main, we're going to do void capital D ARK capital GDK so void GDK open parentheses void close parentheses and, and do two brackets inside like any function we need to do a return so return and because it's not an integer we just just do return so return semicolon Inside our main function we need to do some initializing functions. This is going to set up the game so it will work. First of all we need to call the function db sync. Notice that there is a db in front of it as all dark gdk functions use db as it originates from dark basic the dark gdk equivalent for basic programming. And then you have got to be careful all words in dark GDK start with the capital letter so DB capital S sync and capital O and for on and then open parentheses and close parentheses what this function does is turn sync on so we can manipulate the frames per second the game runs at the next function alongside DB sync on is DB sync rate again with capital S for sync and capital R for rate open parentheses and, and inside here we need to put the amount of frames per second we want so let's put in 60 That's because that's a sort of average close parentheses and do a semicolon next is db disable escape key open parentheses and close parentheses and do a semicolon what this does is sort of reserves the escape fi the escape key for only one thing and we'll go into that in a minute. Next we want to do our while loop. A while loop is the most important thing in the game as it's the thing that runs through each time and displays things onto the screen. So while open parentheses and here we need to go loop GDK open parentheses, close parentheses and close parentheses. What this does is says that we're going to use dark GDK in this while loop. 
open close brackets and inside here we need to do one if statement so our first ever statement if open parentheses db escape key open close parentheses equals one what this is doing is calling the function db escape key to see if the escape key is being pressed remember what I was saying about earlier is this is the only time we want to use the escape key and it's going to return 1 if it is being pressed and it's going to return 0 if it's not being pressed a bit like true and false so 1 being true 0 being false close the parentheses and do two brackets inside here so if the escape key is being pressed we want to break from the loop so to terminate the game and then in the while loop we want to do db sync so to sync the screen remember going back here so this while loop is going to run through 60 times per second or that's the maximum it can go up to so if we go and compile this program you'll see that it displays a blank screen so you won't see the effects but it is looping through 60 times per second and if we do press the escape key it will quit out of the program so as you can see I just press the escape key and it quit out hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have learnt a lot